This is a Critian city? More like the remains of one. What do you think Judith would come here for? Suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick. The hunting blades! Judith! You! Damn you! Go inform Tyson and Nan! Hey! Nobody lays a hand on one of our own. If she's broken our laws, we'll settle this amongst ourselves. Now get out of here. We're only trying to follow a monster we're hunting. This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let me out of... You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk sense to people like this. Leave. Now. Or do you really want to do this? Judith, you followed me here. Yeah, we're here to settle things for the sake of the guild. Judith, tell us everything you know. Why you destroyed the Blastia, about the Apatheia and the Entelikea, their relationship to Pharaoh, all of it. And even though you're one of us, your answers will decide your fate. Punish the unjust, was it? Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. Come. Yuri, what did you mean about Judy's fate? If there's one thing the Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade, an Antilochea, or a friend. You mean even if it's Flynn or Pharaoh? Yeah. It's the path I've chosen for myself. I... The Hunting Blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after the same thing. We just might have to fight. If it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go! Carol... Our boy's growing up. Yeah. Isn't there some way we can avoid fighting the Hunting Blades? I hope so. But it's pretty much up to them. Yep. You'll be gone soon enough. That 
That's what happens when I get serious. So, you are aware that this place was the ground on which the Great War was fought? Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. What? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza using a new type of technology. The Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to... revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. The Blastia using these Hermes-type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crinna began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end, not just of humanity, but all life on this planet! Just like we saw at Cave Mock and the Weasen of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Entelakea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans. And they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Angelicaea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Angelicaea. Probably didn't talk much. There may have been other reasons, though. Still, we don't know what this story has to do with our Judith here. Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait, you mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes, at Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention. The Sarah's Blastia on the Fiertia. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelakea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you going to save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? What, what, what was that? Baul! Looks like we found our mark! You will not pass. You're a person, aren't you? How can you defend a monster? Didn't you get the news? I said nobody lays a hand on one of our own. We won't allow that. Not even from you, Nan. We were having a conversation over here. Butt out! I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone! Have the Hunting Blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person! Carol! Have you forgotten the credo of the Hunting Blades? Step aside! Monsters are evil, and the Hunting Blades pursue that evil. But the Entelakea aren't evil! They were fighting to save the world! Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Abathea. <sighs> It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving... You leave us no choice! 